Good morning, everyone. So um, I'm just catching up with the American situation, the political situation in the US. And uh, what we've got here is a short video from the Republican convention in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, Shania Twain's changed a bit, hasn't she? But they, uh, they're bringing on this, this running horse with... Uh, Donald Toupe Trump and his name's Mike Pence. He's a governor from somewhere, but uh, he's going to be introduced onto the stage now. And just to let you know that regarding politicians, how they come and they go, but policy stays the same, is no better example of what is coming. Now, this guy isn't even vice president yet, but he's doing all the signs to get the votes from the hidden hand people. Let's have a look. Governor Mike Pence. I wonder what he's pointing there for, like that. Governor Mike Pence. Up next, the unlikely governor who needs to mend the cracks, facing the biggest speech of his career. You know, he's a, he's a man known for a large personality, a, a colorful style and lots of charisma. And so I guess he was just looking for some balance on the ticket. Well, for those of you who don't know me, which is most of you, I was raised in a small town in southern Indiana in a big family with a cornfield in the backyard. This was a polished performance with some popular lines. You know, if you looked at the calendar this morning, you might have noticed. The presidency of Barack Obama ends exactly six months from today. Trump was ready with a handshake, an air kiss, and a thumbs up for the most dramatic moment. So right then, people, what a mess, what a Muppet show, what a carry-on, what a, what a cartoon, uh, you know, it's just, I mean, this, these, this is your choice, America. One side and you got the Clintons on the other. I mean, this guy here thinks he's a George Bush lookalike, didn't he? Before he was governor, he used to go to sort of, you know, children's parties, pretending he was George Bush. Of course, the adults wouldn't want him, you know, because the conversation's, you know, too, too high for George Bush. It's got to be childlike. So this is what that chap used to do before. Uh, and I mean, this bit, in fact, let's rewind it all and go through it bit by bit. This chap here makes me laugh as well. This guy here. Back the winner. And that's what didn't happen here. So right then, regardless of policy, people, with any party, once the horses fall, uh, they have to get behind the, the runners, people, and endorse them. They sign a pledge to that. So even if they don't believe in the person, even if they don't believe in the policy, the party makes them uh, pledge to the to the winner the candidate who's going to run for president of the united states and of course this is the problem with uh, ted cruz because he's not endorsing donald trump donald trump is the nominee ted cruz got beaten he should get behind donald trump but of course there's him fighting at the top people rich people fighting rich people it's a shame isn't it mm, not so let's listen to this show because he made me laugh a little bit i'm a cruise delegate from arizona and I'm supporting Donald Trump. I think he voted for gay marriage. I really wanted to see Ted Cruz say, I'm endorsing Donald Trump. Obviously he's lying, Ted Cruz. Go on, Shania. Governor Mike Pence. Governor Mike Pence. <laughs> Here he is, George Bush Jr. wannabe lookalike. Next, the unlikely governor. See, they've got the red and the blues, people. These people holding up these placards, they didn't make them, people. The party makes them. They always make the red and the blue, people. You know, day, night, uh, blue blood, red bloods. Of course, red bloods are the oxygenated blood cells. Blue bloods are the deoxygenated blood cells. All this, people. He needs to mend the crack. And look what we have here. We have a graduate from the University of Satan. 
because we've got the devil horns here. And people, may I remind you that uh, we're not at a university, we're not at any school, we're not at any campus, we're not at any barracks, we're not at any mascot where these fingers are appropriate. We're on the biggest stage at the moment for the Republican Party and the vice president in waiting, Mike Pence, he comes out and the first thing he does on the main stage to the Republicans is give them the devil horns, people. And, you know, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be surprised by that at all because they all go to the University of Lucifer, Satan, the morning star. And of course, these people here believe that worshipping Lucifer you know, you become enlightened, you're a powerful being, your brain is superior, all this rubbish, people. The more you concentrate on this and forget love, care and attention, because this is what this is all about, power, greed and control. That's why Obama does this. That's why George Bush Jr. did this. That's why Clinton did this. That's why Obama, uh, uh, Bush Sr. does it. That's why Hillary Clinton does it doesn't matter which one comes in they all went to university together just like the british people you know just like david cameron and boris johnson they both went to school together you know rub bums in the shower together and uh and this guy here it's the first thing he does look give the devil horns to the whole republican party and you see you've got to understand he has to do this if he wants to be in power he has to prove and show on the main stage that who his loyalties lie to. And it's Lucifer, people. It's the hidden hand. And who worships, O oh, Lucifer, the morning star? Who is the hidden hand? Who is in every place, village, town, city, country in the world? Who doesn't need a border or a passport to cross over? The Roman Holy Catholic Church, people, at the very top of their tier structure the pinnacle the echelons not the good catholic people on the street level doing a fantastic job bringing up the families lovely and everything else but you've got to understand at the very very top they're very very evil and uh, pedophiles most of them people and again i'll give you the example at the moment in the u.s you've just arrested some guy on a suspicion of fixing the currency markets and again we've got this word currency ebbs and flows just like the ocean people it's all maritime law and uh, he was trying to get onto a plane back to england because in England, the uh, the the uh, Attorney General has already stated there's not enough as evidence to prosecute. Obviously, the Americans think different. There's plenty of evidence to prosecute. And they were very, very quick. And, and I take my hat off to them because I'm glad they did it. They caught this this guy here fixing markets. And don't forget, the, finance, the currency markets, I think it's $1 trillion a day that gets exchanged people loads of people it's a scam doesn't matter if it's sports the banks tea, everything is a scam people where people can make money gain control power you know through greed everything is a scam people and uh, yeah so this chap here just getting back to the ranch it's, you know, it's a, it's a sad case of affairs. You've got this side here, and look what he does now. He clenches his fist. Yeah, right on, brother. You know, this is a communist fist, people, because the people don't have any real say. We don't have any democracy, in truth, people, in the US, in the UK, anywhere at all. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter which way people go, there's, they've got an answer for everything, people. But this is a communist fist, people, this is. You know, he's a, he's a man known for a large personality, a, a colorful style, and lots of charisma. And so I guess he was just looking for some balance on the ticket. Balance on the ticket, you know, what? what is he going on about? And what is this chap wearing here? Look at this. He's got the red and the blue squares. He has the cube worship. And look, you see these images that they give us again, you know, projecting them to us, you know, to draw us in. I mean, I can almost smell her armpits from here. 
Wow. Is most of you. Look, now, it is the joke of the day. Don't forget, not his. Somebody writ it for him. And, you know, this speechwriter that did the Fabazel, well, the posh word for word for word, hasn't been named people. On the British TV, it's got the speechwriter for uh, Melana Trump, you know, has offered her resignation. Nobody has named anybody. There's no name to the person. Why isn't there a name to the person? Because there isn't a person. They just picked up the paper from eight years ago and gave it to Milana and said, right, you've got a week to remember it, and then you're on the main stage. This chap here, look, he thinks he's Bush. He, uh, he's coming out with a joke now. Nobody knows me. Which is most of you. See, again, we've got the Make America Great, and then, you know, we've got uh, the white face. Again, you know, projecting out to us and the age of the person. You've got to understand, no young people are in these images. I was raised in a small town in southern Indiana in a big family with a cornfield in the back. Oh, in a big family with a cornfield in the back. Poor you, poor you, Mr. Pence, Mr. Mike Pence. Well, for somebody that lived in the country in a farm with a cornfield in the back, how did you find your way to the University of Satan? Hmm? Family with a cornfield in the backyard. I tell you something now, he's saying cornfield because it's that, it's that corny. It's unbelievable. And uh, yeah, Shania's husband's in the audience there. Can you see that? This was a popular line. You know, if you looked at the calendar this morning, you might have noticed. Look, you see his body language, his body actions. If George Bush Jr. had passed away, I would have said they got him and put him in this chap here. I mean, look at the body language and everything. I think, I think Mr. Mike Pence has secretly got posters of George Bush Jr. all over his bedroom walls. I think he's watched hours and hours of videos. Watch his body language, people. You know, if you looked at the calendar this morning, you might have noticed. The presidency of Barack Obama ends exactly six months from today. And he's as stupid as George Bush Jr. I mean, you know, <laughs> telling people everything ends six months today. Tell people what they want to hear, not, not what they already know, Mr. Pence. They know when the elections are coming round. Tell them what you're going to do better for the American people. Not tell them something they already know. George Bush lookalike Jr. Can't stop. You know, when I look at him, and again, you see, it's an old person. Where's all the young people in the Republican Party? You know, if, come on, George. If you looked at the calendar this morning, you might have noticed. The presidency of Barack Obama ends exactly six months from today. So on the biggest platform in the Republican Party, he tells everybody what they already know. It's all pathetic, people. It's all a con. It's all a scam. But I just want to leave it. He needs to mend the front. There. And that, people, is what it's all about. Signs and symbols and numbers rule the place that we're in, people. Not the words. It's the actions that maketh the man or the woman and all we've seen time after time after time is politician after politician after politician going back on their words not carrying out what they say and absolutely having their interest for themselves and the corporates at hand and not the people and this is the reason why and this is why he's got to do it on the main stage to get anywhere like tony blair had to become catholic after he left office because to climb up on the world stage you've got to be rc people you've got to be the roman holy catholic jesuit asset that tony blair is now people so yeah and this chap's the same he wants to be george bush i mean imagine if these two got into power and then donald trump kept uh, you know, stepped aside, he would step in. I mean, 
the cornfield lad, you know, that went to the University of Satan. Anyhow, that's enough for me. Hope everybody's well. Please take care of yourselves, of your family, of your children. The children are the link, the answer people to everything. Get all the kids in the world, teach them something different today. The world will be a better place tomorrow, especially in 20 years time. Thank you. God bless. Take care.